It's the deadliest terror attack in New York City since 9-11. And sources tell CBS News ISIS may have played a role in the attack that killed eight people and injured more than a dozen others. CBS News correspondent Hannah Doba is near the scene in Lower Manhattan with the latest. Law enforcement officials believe ISIS may have played a role. Uber has confirmed the suspect was a driver with them for the last six months. He passed all the background checks. Now, despite investigators believing the suspect was a lone wolf, security has been stepped up throughout the city. Overnight, investigators continue to comb the scene for evidence in the deadly terror attack in Lower Manhattan. A federal law enforcement source tells CBS that a note referencing ISIS was found inside the vehicle used to run down several people. We got multiple casualties. This is a mass casualty situation here. Police say 29-year-old Seifulo Saipov, a native of Uzbekistan who came to the U.S. in 2010, drove a rental truck through a bike path mowing down pedestrians and bicyclists. It happened just north of where the Twin Towers once stood. He then collided with a school bus, injuring two adults and two children. The driver of the truck exited the vehicle brandishing two handguns. A uniformed police officer assigned to the first precinct confronted the subject and shot him in the abdomen. Police say those guns turned out to be a paintball and a pellet gun. This man caught the encounter on his cell phone. I heard the gunshots, like five, six gunshots. Then we all went down because I, we didn't know which part the gunshots coming. So we were all scared. Saipov worked as an Uber driver and truck driver and had a Florida driver's license. Hours after the shooting, detectives converged on a New Jersey Home Depot, where he's believed to have rented the truck used in the attack. Law enforcement says they believe the suspect acted as a lone wolf and not as part of a wider terror plot. Even still, security has been stepped up and NYPD officers have been deployed throughout the city. Names of the victims are starting to be revealed. Five of those killed were Argentinian, childhood friends who were in town celebrating the 30th anniversary of their high school graduation. A Belgian woman has also been listed among the dead. As for the suspect, he underwent surgery and is expected to survive. In New York City, Hanadoba, CBS News. And President Trump responded to the terror attack on Twitter, saying, My thoughts, condolences, and prayers to the victims and families of the New York City terrorist attack. God and your country are with you. Later, he tweeted, I have just ordered Homeland Security to step up our already extreme vetting program. Being politically correct is fine, but not for this. 